Race officials claim Formula One boosted our local economy by more than a billion dollars, but small business owners like this one on Flamingo and Koval say the event only hindered sales by millions. We call it the F1 disaster. Once a quick and convenient stop, Jay's Market on Flamingo and Koval has now become inconvenient to get to. Everything bypasses me on Flamingo, one of the busiest streets. Wade Bond is the owner of the store and gas station. It's adjacent to the temporary bridge built to improve traffic flow from the Formula One construction. Bond claims this bridge, along with all the other construction from F1, has devastated his business. I am down over $3 million in sales. 12 employees to 5 employees. Got no customers. While Bond has business insurance, it will maybe only cover a third of his losses. It was not what any of us had hoped for. Uber and Lyft driver Dean Lieberg says the event wasn't the financial boost he expected either. It was less than a typical weekend. We had no opportunity to make up the lost income that we've lost for the last, you know, six months. Formula One officials claim the inaugural race brought in more than an estimated $1.2 billion to Las Vegas. But what about losses? UNLV economics professor Stephen Miller says it's still too early to know the full economic impact, but there is evidence suggesting the event wasn't a complete financial success. Initially, when rooms rooms went on sale, the, the prices were astronomical, and over time they, they trended downward. Uh, and a trend downward in price suggests that maybe the, the initial demand was uh, overblown. In a statement to Channel 13, a spokesperson for Clark County said in part, quote, Clark County will be holding after action meetings to debrief on the event to understand what went well and what might need to change next year. But small business owners like Bon Hope, the event doesn't stay in our city for the long run. Doesn't it do well already? We don't need F1. As for economic impact, the Clark County spokesperson says that won't be known in full until January. Near the Las Vegas Strip, I'm Jay Wan Jung.